Hey guys, it's me Bruce. Uh, I'm back. It's been a while. And yeah, a lot of stuff um, has happened actually, especially in Boom Beach. As you can see, I'm once again maxed out. And I've got everything going on except for Crenaders. Um, I'm, I have to admit, I think a little late. Yes. Okay, yeah. But uh, besides that, I maxed out, maxed out LCs and guys, um, I don't know where to start because it's actually almost over, almost I think like three months since the last video. So, so much stuff has happened. Um, very important, I got almost perfect statues now. Magma masterpieces are perfect. And I finally got that 32% building health uh, masterpiece, yes. And I also got a 42% Gumboat Energy Masterpiece. So I'm doing not too bad at all. But as you can see, I have uh, three troop uh, damage guardians. And the thing is, um, I just can't get a fucking troop health guardian. It's just not happening. It's, I, I don't know, I build statues and I build statues and it's just not happening. And yeah, I'm playing a corner base at the moment. I've got a sheet generator going on on the shock blaster. And yeah, guys, uh, at 1186 we pee. <clears throat> and there yeah, I quit my job so for the moment I can uh, relax and chill out um, I couldn't uh, couldn't uh, you know I, I was just you know fed up it, it, this was too too much work too much work for my taste and so I'm chilling right now and um, I'm hitting the gym and besides that it's German winter but it's actually not that cold at all so this is basically a quick recap, uh, recap of <laughs> What is happening and the first thing guys is I think I will go for Axel. First I will actually boost some statues because it's the first video in a while and guys I actually accumulated quite a lot of power powder. I'm now at 275 and um, the last video I did I was below 100 and when I was upgrading all the stuff I was playing a resource reward masterpiece and I was not boosting ice because it was just not uh, you know it just not worth it. I mean if I'm not maxed out um, why should I boost blue? Uh, boost ice. In any way, I'm boosting, I think, four statues um, uh, to magma masterpieces and um, uh, the GB masterpiece plus the GB guardian. And guys, check it out. Masukas, I've got them to level one, obviously, uh, level 21, obviously. Uh, with all the statues I have going on, um, they have no more than 100% uh, percent health, uh, not, not, not health, damage boost. Um, so I'm well above uh, 1080 I think and in uh, DPS which is really a shitload and but the problem is I need that one troop health guardian and I will replace it um, with the troop damage guardian that is only 11% 13 would be the maximum the other two are both 13 so yeah okay I think we've covered everything now uh, let's go to Axel and we're doing mambo and saw crepes. Uh, it depends on the on the day and in the mood. And uh, we always beat mambo. Uh, we really always do. And we sometimes have some problems with um, uh, sour crepes. I don't know why, but we do. But yeah, okay. So the boost is not really that high. And I think I will try to go over the right side. Usually it should work, um, unless I fuck it up. And so. Yeah, let's go for it, attack. And the first thing I really need to do is I, I need to clear a few mines. So that's that's really important. There we go, boom, barrage. Hopefully I can get both uh, boom, boom mines there. But it looks like I fucked that one up already. Still quite a lot of mines there. Um, but yeah, that should be all right. And now I still have really a lot of GB. So I might go for those rocket launches there. And I will go with two barrages first and then see what's left. and. Um, it's so nice that um, I have no barrage level 21 and artillery shell level 21 and the rocket launcher stayed the same so I can do so much more damage now um, with my gunboat abilities because I don't really mind boom cannons and so yeah in any way I think I will use one more artillery shell to clear one more mine here because I'm a bit worried that I step to, uh, through uh, into both mines and then my Sukas will most likely die. And so now let's uh, flare the troops over into the right corner and um, yeah, smoke them up. And uh, 
Uh, hopefully I didn't lose too many Sukas there. No, I only lost one Sukas. Um, but that was not the best play there. Let's move over there. And the thing is I want to smoke myself into position um, to take out those um, rocket launchers right there. And guys, this is all quite messy and I've tossed that shock too early because I was a bit worried. And the smoke is only lifting like right now. And guys, please hurry up. I really need to take out those... Um, rocket launches before they take out my Sukas, okay? Um, that worked very well, or not really very well. It barely worked. It was actually quite a shitty, um, quite a shitty start there. Um, but I still have a few Sukas left, not too many. I, I really messed that one up. I think I lost a few Sukas in the end due to the machine gun. Um, so that was really very sloppy and as you can see this is uh, not the most brilliant moment ever but it's also not too bad I think I'm I think I will do it I'm not entirely sure let's uh, smoke uh, not smoke flare up there and get those boom cannons out of the picture and um, I'm not sure if I will take out that one um, rocket launcher that is uh, to the left behind the core because I think it won't be necessary um, as soon as the the boom cannon is out, I can relocate over here um, to the core and I think I will go with another another critter box there because there's still two boom mines so they are gone now and I'm, I think I'm in a quite good position. Let's toss a shock there and just uh, move to the core and the only question now is will I have enough uh, gunboat and not gunboat energy but enough damage to take out the core. Um, I mean I really lost quite a lot of Suka so we will see but um, as we saw before, I have 1080 DPS per Suka. Um, so those little, this little group of Sukas is actually wrecking the core, which is pretty funny. And uh, yeah, it's going down actually. Also, I played it really sloppy and messy. It's going down, Axel is exploding. And yeah, so this member operation was another success. And it actually went uh, not too bad at all. And yeah, victory, there we go. I lost quite a lot of troops, but okay. And by the way, guys, um, since the update, I mean, the update really changed a lot. And okay, I just realized that I will need to buy an diamond. And usually I do this before I do a video, but in this uh, case I forgot. And let's insta refinish the troops. And yeah, by the way, so um, that update, that, that last update uh, with all the new buildings and the level 21 troops, it really changed a lot. Um, and the problem right now is I'm playing five boats of heavies and only three boats of Sukas um, because my, my heavies they are just dying too fast. Uh, it's a mess. And the thing is, um, I don't have that troop health guardian. And so um, this is why I'm playing five boats of uh, heavies at the moment. Um, I have a lot of damage uh, with the Sukas, so I don't need re I don't really need four boats of Sukas. This is why I'm playing only three. But my heavies are dying pretty fast, so I obviously need more heavies. And this also shows, um, I think, the um, the reasoning behind it. If you ha if your heavies are dying too fast, you either need one more boat of heavies or you need more troop health statues. And if you don't do enough damage, you either need more Sukas or you need more troop damage, um, troop damage guardians. And um, there is an optimal, an, an optimal point uh, you would most likely be able to calculate it mathematically. I personally won't bother because I will go with feeling, but there is this optimal point uh, between damage and health for uh, heavies and for Sukas. And um, so this is really the reasoning here. And as long as the heavies die too fast, I obviously need more heavies or more troop health. And because I don't have enough troop health, I obviously need more heavies. And this is why I'm playing five boats of heavies. And so yeah, the troops are splitting up not in the best way possible. Um, I will lose quite a lot of heavies on the left side due to um, due to the boom mines there, I definitely will shock the cluster on the right side, which is very nice. And I will go with another cluster here. Um, okay, I missed the boom cannon. It's not too bad, but I think it's possible to take the boom cannon too. I will need another shock on the right side because there's still a lot of stuff going on. And it is quite nice that this guy uh, placed his sheet generator into the middle. 
um, that makes it a bit easier for me and um, as you can see the heavies are dying pretty fast so space design is not too bad at all and uh, hopefully I will be able to take out that uh, mortar um, on the right side ASAP because uh, this would uh, hurt my sukas and I really need those sukas and now I will relocate over to the right side um, as you can see there are only sukas uh, left which is a bit uh, problematic but then again it's not really because there's only one boom cannon that actually can hurt me and as soon as the smoke lifts my, my sukas will definitely be able to do enough damage to take this one out I will support them with a med kit there in case the, uh, the flamethrower uh, gives off a shot but it does not <clears throat> and now all the troop damage is just taking down the headquarters and guys I mean this guy was not really boosted too much he had a decent layout and I lost way too many troops and since the last update um, this is basically the same story over and over I beat the people and I usually clear my map uh, once in a while I need to reroll someone because it would require me to boost all my offensive statues which is not worth it and, but usually I beat people, um, but uh, to really clear my map I need to boost, it's, uh, there's no other way. And um, yeah, I also lose so many troops and um, this is really a bit fucked up. Um, attack, okay I forgot to scout this guy, but I think I remember that he has a similar boost going on as the guy before. And yeah, and anyway, um, I'm losing so many troops and I was playing um, uh, RZM2. Uh, I will most likely um, do one more RZM attack after this one. Um, we will see in a second. Um, it also comes down to the base design once again. And will I be able to take it out? Yes, I was actually able to take it out. Um, so the first two barrages were quite messed up. But guys, I won't bother here. I will just go for it. There we go, boom. So, and the rocket launchers are gone, all of them, and uh, since there's the sheet generator on the right side, I will definitely go over the right side, and yeah, that's pretty much it, but yeah, I'm losing so many, so many heavies, guys, I mean, it's also, obviously, um, the, the fifth boom cannon uh, does, uh, does a lot of damage, so this is why I'm also losing a lot of heavies, but it's not only that, the regular cannons do a lot of damage too and then there's the shock blaster and um, people now place um, uh, weapons like uh, the machine gun and the flamethrower more in front um, so in a lot of cases my critters die too fast because you know I cannot toss them in front of a flamethrower and so um, this makes it a little bit more difficult um, this is especially important to defend against RCDM and uh, so yeah this is the reason why people do this uh, let's uh, shock this one here and I need to be careful that I don't lose too many sukas there due to the mines so we'll toss, uh, toss an artillery shell there and as you could see um, uh, the mines still hurt my sukas and I don't have enough uh, people on the right side now this is a bit problematic I will now toss a shock over there and um, I think it will work. Um, I don't see why it won't work. It uh, should, should not work, but still it is it is a mess, guys. It is a mess. I won't uh, I won't uh, talk that one uh, talk that one up. It's a mess. It's definitely a mess. And um, I mean I'm taking it out and so it's really not too much of a problem, but still again I'm losing so many troops, it's ridiculous. I mean, I I might have not, I, I think I did not play perfectly, but I did not play it too bad. It is just, um, uh, the heavies are dying, they are just dying so fast. It's uh, And this is, I think, that those 14% from the troop uh, health guardian, they might make a difference. Uh, they might uh, help in keeping the heavies a bit longer alive and so... Um, we will see about that. I mean, since that last update and also before that, um, heavy Sensukas, if you play them uh, regular, uh, not smoky, uh, not the smoky Hooker style as before the Sheet Generator update, um, they're, they're not the best root combination anymore in my opinion. It is most like a RZM or Scorch Sensukas. I was also experimenting with that. And okay, I forgot to switch to RCM. I will do one more so 
uh, one more like that and then I will most likely do one more attack with RCDM. I will have to see how long the video is running. <clears throat> and anyway, um, Hookah is not really the most, uh, most effective troop combination anymore in my opinion. Um, which is a bit unfortunate, but okay. And so I think I will go over the right side here. Uh, we'll just mix it up a bit. And this is this new popular base design, which is Global Rank 1. Uh, which Clo uh, Global Rank 1 is using it. And so um, there are a few different um, variations. Um, some of the rocket launchers in the back, sometimes in the front. Um, I usually beat that base. Um, it's really not that difficult, but it's also again the same problem as before. Every single time I lose a shitload of troops and this is really fucked up. Uh, because um, when I boost my statues I usually use, uh, usually use diamonds to speed it up. And it has become really quite expensive because I lose so many troops. And if I use RCDM it costs me less diamonds, which is actually... Um, yeah, it's nice to, to spend less time and so this is another reason why I want to play RCDM but at the moment I feel like um, I'm losing too many troops with RCDM because I still uh, miss that uh, troop health guardian and so you know it's not really, it's, I mean I do play it but I feel like it would be even more effective if I would, if I would have a little bit of more troop health. We'll shock this one over there now and I mean it's not looking too bad at all but now the thing is, it will quite uh, take quite some time until the shield is down and uh, during this time I will again lose so many troops, so many um, heavies uh, to the cannons. I mean there are two boom cannons, one cannon and one shock blast. I mean I have now uh, shock the shock blaster but still um, while my troops are taking down the core, um, so many heavies are dying. This is another thing but okay it's going down, there we go boom and it was actually quite close in the end. Um, if all the heavies would have died, uh, the shock launchers and the shock blaster would have picked me up instantly. Um, so yeah, uh, I need to, if, if you want to play hookah successfully at the moment, uh, just make sure you have enough damage and then the real trick is to keep the heavies alive. And so um, now I will actually switch troops into one more. And so I have two boats of sucrester, so let's go with two boats of medics. Well, the medics, there we go, and uh, it still takes too much time to switch. You should be able to save troop combos, um, like you can save base layouts, so you can instantly switch to that um, troop combo. And here it takes me quite some time to fill up the landing crafts, yeah. Okay guys, by the way, there's another update coming in seven days. I'm really excited, uh, to be honest, I have not watched any sneak pe uh, previews yet, but I will most likely do that after I the video. And there's this dark thing here in the water, everyone has saw it so far, and uh, this is really exciting. And uh, guys, as you can see, it's only now 100 diamonds to insta-refinish my boats, um, so that feels so much cheaper than um, uh, replenishing uh, heavies and sukkas. So there we go now. Uh, yeah, this is how I like it. So there we go. And now let's go to one more guy. I think we have this one there. Yes, okay. Scout. And let's check it out. Um, what is happening here? He has quite a boost going on. Um, it will be interesting. Um, the nice thing here is that he has not placed any flamethrowers or machine guns in the beginning so if I go slightly over the left I will pick up quite a lot of gunboat energy and he has only 32% on the rocket launchers um, so I should be able um, I actually should be able to take um, I will take out two and I will leave one uh, because one will not be able to do enough damage to um, actually kill my troops and this is another thing and with the troop health if the if the, the building damage the defensive building damage is higher um, than maybe 50 percent um, it gets difficult for me because then um, my medics won't be able to keep um, uh, my sukas or my uh, my riflemen alive uh, when the rocket launch is shooting on them and now let me quickly check i think it might make sense to also take out one shock launcher i guess so Let's take out this one here. 
I'm also getting quite a lot of free gunboat energy back there, which is nice. And I strongly suspect that I need another barrage here. Or um, alternatively, three artillery shells. This is the question. I think it will go with three artillery shells. There we go, one, two. And most likely third one, yes. And that's it. And I still have like 22 left. So not too bad. And now let's land the troops. There we go, boom. And flare them up into this corner and then I will let them just spread out and go all over the base. And in the beginning there are only cannons and boom cannons, so I will toss one critter box um, to save a few riflemen until I get to the point where it really becomes uh, sticky. And so yeah, they're spreading out now. And I mean, due to all the troop damage I got, um, the amount of damage the riflemen do is also insane. So um it is nice to have so much uh, troop damage that's for sure that's definitely a nice thing and i think i will go with another critter box over there um, hopefully it will distract um the uh, the shock blaster and uh, not the shock blaster the shock launcher i will shock it now because this seems a bit um a bit sketchy there and okay i will definitely shock those two there and those two there because those mortars can do um, a lot of damage and besides that guys i think it's looking okay here it's looking okay um, i keep the flamethrowers shocked i keep the mortars shocked and but i need i need to really take out a few of the mortars now because um, two mortars uh, next to each other they will be able to wreck my troops and now one more shock here to take out all those splash, uh, splash damage uh, splash damage buildings in the middle and now I need to, uh, I hope that not uh, that my troops will survive all those mines there it's looking like they do I still have all my sukas left and I'm now coming in let's go with another med kit over there I'm closing in on the headquarters and this one is going on and yeah um I, I think RCM is also quite nice. It's uh, definitely a nice troop combination. I got a crystal there, super nice. And it's so much cheaper to insta refinish it. Um, if I now insta refinish it, it would only be 49 diamonds. So, yeah, that's super nice. In any way, guys, um, I will do another, uh, definitely do another video on the weekend. Um, I will either do a Colonel Gearheart or a Lieutenant Hammerman video and one um, Dr. Terror video and maybe another PvP video. We have to see how it goes. And yeah, guys, uh, nice to be back. I hope you enjoyed that one. And uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned for more uh, in 2016. So I think it will be a good year. And I will now uh, lean back and uh, chill out in front of the TV. And yeah, my shout out to Dave and uh, to Niels and to Kali and to everyone else. I'm just, uh, you know, in any way, shout out to you guys and shout out to all my subscribers. And yeah, have a good one, guys. Bye.